What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Kuroko no Basket episodes 11 and 12. Now we are getting into like what I assumed would be one of the crazier matches. I, I mean, up to this point, this is the craziest match we've had so far, us versus Shutoku. So we will see how we do. We've already beat one of the Generation of Miracles. We're going against another, Midorima. Very excited. He scored a nasty three for us to rebuttal against that great pass across the court to a dunk from Kagami. Absolutely fantastic. Very excited to see where this goes. Remember, if you guys want to watch this in full uncut or early access as well, check out that Patreon up to four episodes or one week ahead. All the links for that in the description down below. You guys can also watch this uncut and early access with me over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop right on into this. Kuroko no Basket, episodes 11 and 12. The first one is called That's Not It. Let's do it. This game is just getting started. Hells yeah. Okay. Yeah, I definitely think he could have made that shot, but he decided to pass it. He saw Kuroko. What's he, what's he thinking? Because you need, yep, you need to get that rebound. That is a valid point. Oh, wow, I never even thought about it like that. So it's it's a one v one at that point with Kuroko's amazing passes. Yeah, that's actually a really smart strategy to counter Midorima's high arc type shots. He's a battle hardened warrior to be able to do this first quarter to rebuttal against someone like yeah, it's, it's dope. See, he's my second favorite person on the... He might be my favorite player on Shutoku, so I really need to know his name, too. Ooh, that was a clean pass. Ooh, the way he just dodges to direct it to where it needs to go is like... It's fucking crazy. Mmm, really? So he's the Kuroko of his team? He's the great passer, he's the assist lord? That's a great steal. Oh, he's just so motionless when he says it, but you can tell he's fired up, ready to go. Takeo is on his ass. Kuroko is not going to have the free reign he normally does. Mmm, Takeo's got crazy ability. He's got Kuroko's fastness. Yeah, so he doesn't, that doesn't get him because he can see everything, all the pieces from a bird's eye perspective. I was just not expecting this show when you guys said these characters have abilities and shit like that. I was not expecting this. It is so anime. I love it. Still down three. Still first quarter. No momentum has really been like super gain though. Like it's pretty back and forth. I mean, to a certain perspective. Why is that? Not the answer I was expecting to hear. A valid point. For someone like Midorima, who's pure talent, like, he could respect that, you know? He recognizes him in his own right, you know? Or of another kind. I like that. Ooh. Yeah, you say that as they have a nice deal, though. They're so good. After we lost last year, broke that. Hey, coach. Hell yeah. That's what we love to hear. Ah, yeah. that is a very valid point. Talk about a self challenge. Holy shit. I know he's like, damn, should I do it? Imagine if I had to break my figures for something like that. I'd be like, no, thank you. Hey, Junpei is a real one. She was not expecting him to say that. And all that training, all those broken figures for us to. Be... <laughs> Hell yeah, that's why we rely on Junfei. 
Great steal, Kuroko. But Takayo re-stole it right back. Oh my god, bro, I'm telling you. He's taking a half-court shot because he just doesn't give a fuck? Midorima is literally broken. Is that like a consistent thing though? If he can consistently shoot beyond like a three point consistency is insane, but a half court consistent shot, what? And then he's just fucking playing as far back as he can, so no more somewhat cherry pick passes. And yeah, that is true. Okay, jumper. He is kind of just pulling this out. Oh, okay, and he's gonna go get his own rebound. True. True. I didn't even think of that. Shouts out, Kagami. What do you do against that? It's a meme, but have you guys seen that RDC World skit where they're talking about Steph Curry and how he's so good at shooting threes that you have to guard him the moment he gets out of bed? You gotta start guarding him the moment he gets out of the car to even at the arena? <laughs> like, it's a meme, but that's how it is like with Midorima. As soon as he gets out of the shower, as soon as he gets woken up from fucking in the morning, you gotta be on him, guarding him, guarding him, you know? It's like, Jesus, bro. Jesus, bro. Who makes that shot? I know, that's what I'm saying. He's trying to mentally finish them. Yeah, if he was able to successfully single-handedly secure a quarter by himself, Sayrin's done. There's no way they're coming back. Midorima's making a call. He's a little nervous about doing it, but he's making the call. He's making the executive decision. They changed the marks again. Now we got Kuroko on Midorima. But if any... Oh, he's on you with a screen. I mean, he does have that eagle, like, bird's eye view. So he knows exactly what you're trying to do with that kind of stuff, you know? Oh, okay. Pivot crossover. Yeah, he's kind of nice with it. I mean, we know that. Great pass. We're going to have to do something about Takeo, bro. He is literally a counter to Kuroko. He's an actual counter. Mm-hmm. So this is an old argument they had. I just, I love how we've only met three of the six Phantom Earth, I Phantom members. I wanted to say Phantom True members. Three of the six Generation of Miracles, and so every one of our flashbacks, we've only ever heard Red Hair Guy talk once, and I, I'm pretty sure it was Levi's voice actor, which got me super excited. And they always do it in such a smart way, where they never show his face, they never show their faces. I only see Kisei meet or oh man, and they do a good way of getting people excited for the future. I am. You're gonna prove it to us, huh? Well, now's that day. I mean, he's fucking got an 11 point lead now. Okay, Mitsube. Good hook shot. He is in his grill. Almost at full court. You know his arc is so high. Yep. I just I just obviously it's an anime, but this man has to have so much strength to do a jump shot like that across the court. Every across the court, even half court shot I've thrown is like a, you know, like you got a, like a half court you can do a normal shot. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Look at that. This is, this is ridiculous. Are they playing the ending beforehand? Yeah, something definitely isn't right. Oh, are we about to see Super Saiyan Kagami? That red aura looks fucking badass. Oh, it's ending right here. Okay. Okay. All right, on to episode 12. This one is called, What is Victory? Good question. 
I, he said it's heartbreaking, but mental break, not mental breakdowns, but mentally being checked, clocking out, like, whatever you want to call it. Being at that point, you know, I experience it the most when it comes to video games, stuff like that, where you lose like six rounds. And you know what I'm trying to say? There's always that moment where your hope, your your thoughts of winning kind of fleet a little bit. And you're like, wow, this is kind of over, you know, like and it's really never over till the fat lady sings. I know that sounds like a corny little line, but I'm so serious in which like it, it, it's a it's a it's a determination. It's a discipline type thing to be able to come back, bounce back in those type of scenarios and actually be able to have the mental fortitude to keep going. I don't know why I'm pausing it so early. I just feel like going against someone like Midorima would that would play a big part. Like we just saw Rico be like, how the fuck do we stop this man? It would take a toll on your mental for sure. Oh, we're almost down 20 points. Yeah, see? That's... And, that, and that's what I don't want to hear from people. That's what I don't want to hear. I remember that. Cancer is uh, Midorima and a... <laughs> Sugar Rocky Raccoon. And, and uh, Kuroko is an Aquarius, right? Meanwhile, during... During Seirene's halftime. This is what a leader like Junpei or a coach like Rico. This is one of the, that's what I'm talking about. The mental fortitude. Faux kiss. You did say you'd give him a kiss on the cheek. Rico. Rico. She was, don't get me wrong, but you don't know how motivated I would have been had she said something like that. I would have been like, I'm winning the game! Doing some VOD review, halfway, I like it. Facts. That's the thing, you never know. He used the most hyperbolic, exaggerated story in the world, but he was talking about being down by 100 points. But theoretically, he's not lying at all. You truthfully never know what could happen. Let's say, you know, more realistic scenario than what he just said. You're down 100 points. Somehow, Midorima goes into cardiac arrest. Has You know what I'm saying? Like, that's horrible. I don't wish that upon anyone. I'm just saying, like, I'm on Team Kuroko right now. Crazier things have fucking happened. That's the attitude we'd like to see. Let's see it. Yeah, dealing with Take was gonna be annoying, you know. We're getting closer and closer. The arc is still barely above us, though. We're up by twenty-one now. Will he make it, though? That's the thing. He can shoot from anywhere. He just doesn't always make it. Shouts out, Kogane. So, we're going into this knowing there's that possibility. Knowing that there's a chance. And we ray... Oh, he's still... Kagami's nice. I know. Normally, it's the opposite. Still made it, but it was a toilet bowl shot. It was very close. <laughs> Every girl I ever talk to these days, I'm a Leo. <laughs> Damn. Crazy to think about. I need to listen to that horoscope, whatever it is. Hell yeah, they're still very much trying, you can tell. He's boxed him in on the other side of the court because he know. yeah. Yep, gotta be on him. That's what I'm saying, like Steph Curry, you gotta guard him as soon as he's out of the car, as soon as he's out of bed, you gotta be guarding him. I mean, I understand that. I get that. You want to be able to carry yourself and do everything individually knowing you... Because you, you don't want to have to rely on someone else. It's just hard in a team sport, you know? Oh, 
He wants to even the playing field so he doesn't have to rely on someone. I get it. I like it. I like it. Mans is dashing. Oh, his windup is a second. And that's a full-ass block. Still a fingertip. We're getting there. We're getting there. That might be the first miss Midorima has, though. It is his first miss with Mitobe. Good job to their captain. Good job to them. Shouts out them. But Mitobe was right there. I was close. I was, I know. We still got, you know, still got some shit we got to do. Otsubo. If Kagami hits his ball three for three, was his actual hidden ability, determination, perseverance, his innate jumping power. This man starts flying. This man's like Hinata. That was a straight up swat. That is true. It's a very quick time from getting the, the steel block rebound from his shot to immediately going, yeah. Valid point. This man will charge through both these and go, yep. With a shot. I was not expecting the shot. I thought he was going to draw the foul. Hagami is one of those just natural phenomenons. He's one of those big guys that moves not like a big guy. Like, this man is a maniac. He moves like Hinata from Haikyuu with the body of Tsukushima from Haikyuu. It is crazy to think these are first years in high school. This man looks like seven foot four, you know? This man is what, like 14, 15, jumping this high? They are not expecting my man Kagami to be the dunk and the block master. Ooh, and the shot, man. Kagami's got the potential. What's the score? It's been a minute since we checked, right? Nine? It was like a 21. He's tired. The exhaustion, the fatigue is hitting him. He was breathing a little heavy there a second ago. Especially late in the game, you're going to be, especially your second game of the day, you're going to be tired beyond all shit. This man should be damn near falling to the ground. Yeah. Yeah, see, we can't start playing desperate and like, not you know like too fast for our bridges like we still have to think about this and you know play well because desperation is you know, going in the final quarter we'll be down like 13 14 still definitely doable sorry guys if you guys see me doing this a lot my back has been killing me i mean i, I get what he's saying yeah, I know, you know. I'm not going to say he needed to do that, but that's somewhat deserved. He's kind of in his own head right now. Like, come on, Kagami. It's something they tell you when you're five years old, but there's a reason they say it. There's no I in team, you know. Title of this episode. It's a valid question, you know? It really wasn't a victory. And especially coming from Kuroko, whose number one reason is loving basketball itself, you know, for why he's, you know, in the position he is right now. Like, I get that. What is victory? He realized he's a little too hot headed. Round 14. What should we do? And what is... Okay, what's a Kuroko plan? Uh-huh. What would that be? Okay, Kuroko. God damn you.
Well, those were some great episodes. We are still in the middle of the Shutoku match. I am very curious where this entire story is going to go. I know our goal is to get to Nationals, right? That's what Rico said at the beginning. Are we going to win Nationals? Are we just going to make it to Nationals? Because it's kind of like similar to Haikyuu with me. I'm not going to spoil Haikyuu, but very similar drive and passion in terms of where they want to be in the end game and we're sort of getting to the end game in high so i'm very excited to get there here very much enjoying not only the abilities not only the basketball actually being played but the team dynamic and the mental strategies and, and the behind the scenes aspects that go into a game of basketball definitely not just who can make the most threes definitely not just who can dunk jump the highest you know there's a lot of a lot of chess that's being played when it comes to who's blocking who who's doing this what can we do in this situation who you know it's like very and it, it that's why i always mainly apply what i'm talking about to like esports because i'm mainly a gamer and stuff like that you know i haven't i played sports back in my day mainly baseball i didn't play too much sports but i do know that esports and sports there are a lot of fundamentals when, when it comes to things like this like mental fortitude you know certain basic strategies that are very applicable to both sides so i, I thoroughly enjoy seeing that even though i can't directly relate to it you can kind of indirectly, or as Kuroko would say, relate by proxy. So I, I fuck with that. So shouts out Kuroko. I love these episodes. I'm excited to see Kagami just turn. Imagine how high you can jump by the end of the show. It's going to be insane. Oh, If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for early access and full length up to four episodes or one week ahead. All the links are in the description down below. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.